Find similar clips with the same character movement, face track, and pre-compose them. Add Twixter Pro and follow my steps. Remember to match the frame rate with your scene pack. In most cases, it will be 23.976 frames per second. Create speed keyframes and follow my steps. Copy the effect and paste it on other clips. Add S underscore Blurma Curves effect. Now, as we can see, the character on the second clip is closer to the camera than on the first clip. So we're going to do zoom in and zoom out. Follow my steps. The graph needs to look like this. After some adjustments, we can go to the second clip. We do the same thing, but now zoom out into zoom in so it fits the previous clip. It's hard to explain how to do this correctly, but my advice is try different values until it fits everything. Do the same graph, but in opposing direction, Do the next clips analogically. After some adjustments, it should look like this. Now, create an adjustment layer. Go to where your clips change and then cut it four frames in each direction. Then add CC wide time. Create keyframes in the middle and set both values to 4. Now go to the edges and set them to 0. Duplicate the layer using Ctrl D and place it between next transitions. Now we're going to create a new adjustment layer for shakes. Repeat my steps. Play with the values and adjust them however you want. Add exposure effect and follow my steps. Now, we're going to do glowing edges transition. Follow my steps.
time for edge rays transition. Adjust it however you want, and this is the final effect. <laughs> 